In this session, we'd like to take you into the clinics of both Dr. Sri Ganesh and Dr. Bruce Rivers, who will be sharing their personal experiences with using digitalization and customized clinical workflow solutions to boost efficiency in their practices while ensuring the best possible outcomes for their patients. Hi, my name is Bruce Rivers, and I'm happy to be a part of the Zeiss Innovation Week for 2022. My name is Dr. Sri Ganesh, and welcome to Netadharma, and today I will take you through the digital options. I was born and brought up in uh, Bangalore and I really love this city. Uh, the city is known for its weather, it's also called the air-conditioned city. Uh, from when I was young, I always wanted to be an eye surgeon. It's probably because I saw both my grandmother and my great-grandmother who were blinded after cataract surgery. So I was wondering, couldn't this be improved? And uh, so it became my passion. I wanted to be an eye surgeon and give the best to my patients. Uh, invest in the best technologies, uh, the best skills, so that we have the best outcomes uh, with high safety and accuracy. I started the clinic in 1994. We, I started as a small one-room clinic and now it has uh, the practice has grown into eight hospitals. We have uh, 40 full-time consultants and we have about uh, 350 staff. We cater to about uh, 500 to 600 patients every day and uh, on an average we do about uh, 40 to 50 surgeries in this uh, hospital every day. I was always looking at uh, digital options for the clinic and uh, 20 years ago we invested in the first electronic medical records and we have records from that day and now we have a cloud-based uh, system. And I always be believe in digitalization because it makes the system more efficient. It's less dependent on people. There are less transcription errors and uh, the whole system is more efficient. We have invested in the best of uh, technologies. We have the uh, forum uh, software and uh, a completely a digitally integrated environment to deliver the best um, care to our patients. Typically, we have the cataract um, digital uh, workflow and uh, here we have uh, two IOL Master 700s in the clinic. So we do the biometry on these patients and then after that, the data is transferred to the EQ workplace. Yes, now don't blink and don't move for five seconds. Be steady. Steady, 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 another two seconds. So once this scan is done, we can export uh, to the forum there and the ophthalmologist doctor sitting anywhere they can plan the IOL power so you can calculate in the EQ workplace the different lenses the different formulas and you can change the settings also in that so you don't have to go back to your biometry uh, device you can do it then and there on EQ workplace so this way it offers a lot of flexibility and convenience to the clinician good afternoon come place it down Basically, I have examined your eyes and uh, you have two problems. Okay. One is your... Um, I think um, having forum in the practice helps not only the doctors, but also the patients and the staff because all the diagnostic uh, details are available on the desktop. So the staff do not have to go and then fetch paper records or scans or the doctors don't have to move to the device to look at uh, the reports. And this is a big benefit. And even for the patient, there is less waiting time so there is a more efficient turnover of patients and uh, it helps in planning and gives a lot of peace of mind to the uh, clinicians.
My name is Dr. Bruce Rivers. I'm um, a military trained ophthalmologist. I spent uh, 30 years in the military starting out as, a, as an eye tech, which is how I got, into, uh, got interested in ophthalmology. We just recently opened uh, our own practice uh, at the National Harbor, which is just outside of Washington, D.C., and primarily focused on refractive surgery and uh, premium cataract surgery, and really, really trying to give people a premium experience. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Fairly short day, so um, just four cases this morning. So the first one, she's got a very dense cataract. My team is, is fairly small. We've got a team of six people. And so, um, you know, for us, my vision of us having this state-of-the-art center uh, where everything is totally integrated, we're 100% paperless, everything talks to each other. Um, we spent a lot of time and effort into making sure that our, uh, our network was set up. And so uh, typically for a day for us, um, the patients that are loaded into our EMR for the day, um, have already been loaded into all of our testing equipment, uh, which really makes it nice and easy because when patients come in, um, again, everything's digital, so we give them an iPad, they're able to um, you know, fill out their information in an iPad, and all that information, again, is just integrated into our system. The reason I like the digital workflow of the office is because all these machines communicate with each other. Everything that we do on these machines go directly to the doc's iPad. So there's not a lot of paperwork or anything like that. All the information that Dr. Rivers needs comes directly from these machines. So once we uh, do every exam on the patient, he already has it by the time we get the patient into his room. So it's extremely convenient. All right, same thing. You're gonna look for that starburst. Once you see it, just focus in on that. You see it? I see it. All right, I want you to focus on that. Blink once and then open wide as you can. Excellent. Sit back and relax. All that information is, is at my fingertips in my office. Uh, it makes it very nice that we use Dice Forum um, because everything is integrated and so it's easy for me to look at patients' tests or look at patients' uh, information before I even walk in the room. And then once I walk in the room, it's nice because I have everything right there that I can then go over with the patient. And so it's very nice, very easy to explain that to them if you can show them uh, what, you're, what you're talking about. I'd recommend something to you, but definitely getting your feedback is important. Yep. All right. So one of the things that's nice about here is um, we actually have the ability to uh, look at all of these tests and I can kind of go through it with you. One of the and I think that's really, really important because we, we really feel that um, an informed patient is the best patient. All right, awesome, awesome, yeah. Thanks so much. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is log into our uh, Electron's medical record, um, which is really the, the major hub of everything between this and Zeiss Forum. So very nice that everything is seamless because uh, it makes, makes it easy for me to do everything from here. So, for example, one of the patients I saw today um, was a patient for, uh, here for cataract surgery. And once they've decided on a lens and, a, and we've decided on a surgery date, um, then I go into Veracity, which again is awesome because Veracity pulls in everything from the EMR. So if a patient's on Flomax, if a patient has uh, some diagnosis that is really gonna be important for me to know, uh, for cataract surgery, Veracity does a great job of not letting you forget that. It'll actually tell you, hey, this looks like this person may have had refractive surgery or based on their history, it'll say this person had LASIK. And so it doesn't let you forget all of those little fine details that are really important. And again, because we're wireless, it sends all that information over to uh, Callisto and our microscope. And so on surgery day, all that information that I reviewed before surgery day is is right there at my fingertips. Okay. So we can start, I guess. So I arrive at the hospital uh, by around eight o'clock, especially if I have a workout day, then I work out for an hour and then I'm ready to do my surgeries. 
I start my uh, cataract surgeries by around nine o'clock. Uh, I go into the OR, check the patient's records. Um, on EQ Workplace, um, I have all the details, uh, the list for the day. I look at their biometries if I have to make any changes. Once the uh, OT list for the day is finalized, then it is transferred to the Callisto on the RTO 800, uh, which is the uh, digital 3D microscope. So today we have uh, 11 cases and uh, all the patients and IOLs are verified and everything is set. So let's go scrub up and start the oil. I have done personally over uh, 120,000 cataract surgeries and about 75,000 refractive surgeries. For patients, uh, I think uh, safety and efficiency are very important, even for the surgeon. So you need to give them a safe procedure and you have to be efficient so you can actually do more surgeries and uh, the workflow is more efficient. So for this, the digital environment really helps. We have the uh, Callisto on the RTO 800 and it's a great tool because you get all the data from uh, EQ Workplace and Forum into the Callisto. We have the list for the day, so we have the name of the patient, the eye to be operated, the IUL and also if there is if it's a toric IUL we know what access we need to put in. It has a markerless system so we don't have to do the pre-op 0180 degree marking for the patient which actually takes more time and it is uh, inconvenient for the patient. And the Callisto is also linked to the Quatera which is the latest FACO machine and um, I was involved in its uh, development. Now the Quatera has a very unique pump called the quattro pump, which has like four syringe-like pumps. And these are synchronized perfectly with sensors so that the amount of fluid going into the eye and the amount of fluid coming out are balanced at any time. And you also have irrigation sensors to compensate for any leak. So with the Quatera, you have a very stable chamber, even at very high parameters. And I use very high parameters like 700 vacuum and like 90 flow, uh, which is very fast. And this improves the efficiency of the surgery and without compromising on the safety because the chamber is always stable. So the surgeon can operate very comfortably and confidently. So the, uh, the digital workflow actually adds to um, kind of our check and balance. So uh, we've got the Lumera uh, Callisto uh, microscope set up. And so what's nice about that is um, all of our scans from uh, the IWO master, that information gets pulled over here. And so it allows us to um, you know, verify the patient, verify the eye. Or, you know, in the past, I'd have to print out um, the uh, toric calculator that would show me where the axis was and I would hang it up on the wall or hang it up on the microscope. Uh, what's nice with having Callisto is I don't have to do that. Um, you know, the, uh, the axis is superimposed right on the corner for me through my microscope. And, uh, there's no concern about cyclo rotation. Once I put the lens in, I can constantly verify that it's in the right place. And so um, having a small team, it really makes a difference for us to have, you know, this complete integration. It just really helps us a lot vacuuming out this lens here so that little that sound you hear is kind of like a microscopic jackhammer awesome yeah all right so your cataract is out we're just gonna clean things up and then we'll get ready to put your lens in here okay absolutely all right all right your lens is in we're just gonna rinse things out here and Great job. I didn't do anything. <laughs> uh, Tried to stay still. You did, you did. Patient cooperation is a large part of this. Yeah, this is a 
lens from Zeiss. So I'm doing an injection under BSS. So it's easy to insert. The RTO is the uh, heads up 3D microscope. I've been using it for uh, the past two years. Previously with the uh, earlier microscopes, I had to bend over and I used to get some neck pain or shoulder pain. And uh, now I don't want to use the oculars anymore because uh, it's so comfortable. I'm able to sit up straight and uh, I have high volume of surgery. I do about uh, 20 surgeries every day. Towards the end of the day, using the RTO 800 now, I feel so comfortable. It's like I've not done surgery at all. And the Quatera because it's so nice. Uh, it's so safe for the patient and that reduces the surgeon's stress. Also, the amount of illumination that I have to use with the RTO is very low. I just use about 15% illumination as compared to the regular microscopes where you have to use 25-30%. And when we are operating a patient under topical anesthesia, then if you use more light, they are uncomfortable. So it's very convenient. It's like a digital cockpit and it helps the surgeon take off and land comfortably. So once the cataract surgery is uh, done, then uh, we have at uh, two weeks, we do the refraction and two to three weeks, then we put in the uh, details again in the EQ workplace. So because of this, we have a constant optimization of the A constant so that we are able to get uh, better results and almost 97% uh, of our patients are within like a half adapter uh, which is one of the best in the world and then we continuously monitor this and that's how we are able to perform better and offer better results to our patients. I've always done my own refractions for cataract surgery but I came from a place where I had two optometrists that worked with me and so I never had to worry about refractions for refractive surgery. And that was one of the things I was really worried about kind of starting out on my own uh, was, you know, wow, I'm gonna to have to do all these refractions. How am I gonna do it? How am I gonna make sure that it's fast? Um, and I've actually been very surprised with uh, the eye profiler and um, uh, visual consult. It's been very easy. The um, uh, auto refractions that I get from that have been really spot on in terms of access and power and it's been really easy to just fine tune those things. So that's made my workflow a lot easier and I was pleasantly surprised that it wasn't as difficult as I thought it was going to be. Our refractive workflow, uh, kind of going back to the marketing part, hopefully it's, it's uh, patients have come in as a result of seeing one of our one of our ads or uh, one of our uh, one of the things we've posted on uh, IG or Facebook. Um, but whatever the case is, you know, we love the fact that we're the only ones doing Smile right now. Um, I do hope that other practices start to, to get into Smile because um, you know all ships rise, and so if we get more people into Smile, I think that it'll it'll just really spread like wildfire. Uh, you see that green light? There you go. You should see it now. Good. Perfect. Good, breathing nice and easy. So I think the benefits of an integrated workflow is uh, better patient experience, uh, happy staff, maybe less work uh, for everybody involved in terms of their practice and really just making things flow a lot easier, which decreases time, decreases stress, and ultimately improves the results in the patient experience. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Excellent. So it's going to look frosty like frosted glass, and that's normal. And now we're just going to separate the lenticule here. Good. How do you feel? Good. Yeah. I feel like my left eye teared more than my right. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Little more down. Are you comfortable? Yes. Okay. I'm going to tape your eyelashes now and I'll put a clip to keep your eyes open. We'll put some drops. 
Open your eyes. Look straight at the ceiling. That's all. Open both eyes. Look straight. Ah. Okay, you're doing fine. Just relax. Don't move. You'll see a green flashing light. So all the diagnostics can be imported into this uh, refractive uh, workplace, which is a remote planning uh, system. And there you can see the patient details. If you want to apply your nomograms, you can do that. If you want to change the refraction slightly, you can do that. And then you can plan what surgery you're going to do for the particular patient, whether it's femtolasic, whether it's smile, whether it's press beyond. So you're all comfortable? Okay. No pain, no discomfort? Okay, good. You'll be able to see, it'll be a little hazy. The clarity goes on improving. Okay, just keep blinking, that's all. They'll give you all the instructions, the drops to be put. Put the drops correctly and tomorrow you'll have to come for a checkup. It's all gone on well. Okay? Good. Thank you. Look towards the left side, you can see one green light. Look at there only. Don't move, don't move. Scanning is going on, don't move. Coming to the um, retinal uh, workflow, uh, we have the Cirrus uh, 5000. The Cirrus uh, 5000 is again connected to the forum, so the doctors can review all the reports. Uh, of the OCTs and the fundus photographs and the angiograms on the forum and take a clinical decision. And the RTO 800, again, uh, we have the recite on the RTO 800 and the OCT, and this uh, really helps the surgeons during the surgery, especially for surgeries like macular hole surgery or uh, membrane peeling. This is a great tool, and that's the retinal uh, digital workflow. We are done for uh, uh, today. Uh, we had uh, 20 surgeries and uh, they've all gone on well. So are you tired? No, not at all. Now I have to go and see my patients and then I have some administrative work and then <laughs> life goes on. <laughs> <laughs>